Let's use this diagram of a dozen eggs to help generate a matrix diagram that'll get us to see four related equations that'll all have the same solution. All right, here I got 12 eggs. On this side, two eggs high, and the carton is six eggs long. Um, A times two is equal to 12. 12 divided by two is equal to A. All right, let's take this, think of that as a diagram. Here it is. When we multiply these two, we get this. When we divide this by one of these circles, we get the other circle. So A in this case is always going to be the same number, and we can figure out that's gonna be six, I think. Let's start with that first equation. So I'm gonna start with two times A equals 12. All right. 2 times a is equal to 12. I want to figure out what the a is. Well, I'm going to do the opposite operation of 2. I'm going to divide this by 2. And I'm going to divide this side by 2 as well. Here what I've got is I've got this a multiplied 2 times to get the 12. If I just want to get this dimension, I'll have to divide by 2. And that's what I'm doing. So when I get done, I get 2 halves times a. That's 1 times a, or just plain old a, equals 12 divided by 2, 6. All right, let's try it in the other order. This time, let's start with the a. a times 2 equals 12. All right, now, if you say a2, it doesn't sound as well as 2 a's. So I'm going to just use commutative property and say 2a equals 12. And in a sense, we've turned this into that same equation up here. This is twice as big as it needs to be. So I'm going to divide by 2. I'll have to divide this side by 2. This is 2 halves, or 1a equals 6. All right. Now, in this case, the division form is going to be easier. If you think, we have 12 here divided by 2 is going to be a. Well, we just have to simplify that. 12 divided by 2 is 6 equals a. So again, we're getting the same answer for a. This is going to be the most complicated by far. 12 divided by a equals Two. All right, now what you have to do is the same thing we've been doing formulaically up here. See what's happening to the numerator <clears throat> and do the opposite to it. So up here, we've got 12 divided by a. We've got to get the a out of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by a over 1. And I have to multiply this side by a as well you do to one side of the equation, you need to balance it out by doing the same to the other. So now we have a times this and, and this, this number 12 divided by a. When you have that fraction, it ends up being this. Now anything where you have a numerator is the same as the denominator, that means a divided by a. Well, how many a's are in a? One. This is just a really complicated way of saying that's one whole. It takes A to make a whole thing, and you have all of them. All right, so that turns into 1. And 1 times what? 12. So 12 equals 2A, and we've created a simpler form of that problem. Now all we have to do is solve it. We don't know how to do that. This is twice as big as it needs to be. Divide by 2. 6 equals a all four times.